this might be a great chipper at a great price. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this chipper and what you might be able to see here is it says Acer right there on the bottom and it says it on the back medallion right there too. And that's kind of funny because as far as I know, I think this is actually the same company that makes electronics. Needless to say, I guess I'm looking forward to Lenovo's new line of drivers. Anyway, I picked this up because it was pretty inexpensive and it looked like a quality chipper. What's also unique about this one is it doesn't seem to be painted. It's kind of got just a polished surface, which makes it look really nice. It's got really nice weight on it. I think this is probably a D5, D6 in terms of swing weight. You kind of expect that to have kind of heavy weight there because you're going to use more of a putting stroke on it. The front here is not really polished, but it has a uh, shiny finish to it. And then you have this, you know, polished edge all the way around it kind of on the outside. But then you have like this bead blasted, sand blasted matte finish, which is kind of nice. So when you're looking down on it, you don't get any glare reflection those types of things and then again that little acer sticker on the back there and you can see the hosel is pretty close to being on the edge here which i actually thought would not necessarily be ideal but i've kind of come to love that it actually makes a ton of sense you can see we have a single dot up here and this line running down the center so that you can line it up and like all chippers the face is basically flat it's got a little curved edge on the bottom but it's flat so it doesn't have kind of that curved radius like a hybrid wood or anything and so you just line it up like a putter and you just use that putting motion and chip this thing and they go dead straight which is pretty awesome like I said, got a nice weight of steel shaft here. It also has a Karma grip on it, just a standard golf grip. This is a pretty nice little grip, but I think the most interesting thing about this is that it's under 40 bucks. And so I will just tell you right now, of all the chippers that I have checked out, this seems to have the most weight you know maybe second to the tour edge chipper which is also a great chipper but between this one and that one i think this feels just like a premium chipper and it has the weight and the construction quality that you would expect in you know a hundred dollar club now probably my only gripe about this right out of the gate is that it doesn't come with a head cover you know because these are so large i don't want them rattling around hitting the shafts of my other bag i usually would love a little cover i think any mallet style putter cover will work on this so it'll help just protect that finish keep it away from your other clubs those types of things i would love to see you know a company spend two bucks and include even just a simple little neoprene head cover or something like that for clubs that have a really big footprint like this so let's get this little bad boy out to the golf course and see how it does so one question that always comes up is how far away can you be from the green and use this chipper? Now I'm about 20 yards away from the green here with a pretty strong stroke and no problem getting it up there and the run isn't too long. Of course, for me, the shot that I struggle with the most is chipping onto the green from just off of the green in the rough. Now here I'm carrying about five feet of rough and about 20 feet of green and this is the perfect club for it. In this case, when I would choke down on my seven or eight iron and try to chip it, there just isn't enough mass in the head. And sometimes I bury the club head into the ground and end up chunking it and leaving myself another chip out of the rough onto the green. So this club is really nice because of that big flat bottom. It kind of cuts through the rough. And because of all the weight down on the head, it really carries the momentum through the shot and moves the ball out of the rough. So you're not leaving second chips from the same place, which is really, really frustrating. So here's my ball, about 15 feet from the green, another 25 feet beyond that. I'm actually gonna see if I can just show you what it's like. First person here to chip it on, one-handed, while I'm holding the camera, and see if this club is so forgiving that I can get it on one-handed here. That's not bad, about 10 feet behind the pin line wasn't great but if i'd used two hands that could have even been better hey this chipper is the real deal and it's very affordable so if you want to pick this up i'll put a link to it in the description below peter brown panda out